საშინაო სკოლის გაკვეთილებს წარმოგიდგენთ კომპანია Silkmedi. Hello, today we shall speak about deep sea animals. You have all probably been to the sea, but have you ever seen what's going under the water in the sea, deep down on the bottom of the sea? Treschen wie saubret zwis tsxovelebse. Albet qola qopil khar tsxaze, magram ginakhavt rodes me ra khteba zwis pskerze tsqlis kwesh. It's very interesting because under the sea there are creatures that you have never seen on the earth. ძალიან საინტერესოა იმიტომ რომ წყლის ქვეშ ისეთი ცხოველები არის არის რომელს რომლებსაც ვერასოდეს ვერ ნახავთ მიწაზე Let's open our books at page 94 You know the main story is told in direct speech თავარი ამბავი მოყოლილი არის პირდაპირ პირველ პირში It means uh, that it's it reads here it's going to be boring complained Jack I hate museums so Jack's speech is told directly. Pirdapir pirshi aris gadmotsemuli Jack's sitqvebi. Then the rest of the story is narrated. Da danarcheni ambavi aris moqolili. Da tkhobit aris gadmotsemuli. A lot of adjectives are used to describe the different creatures of the sea. Zalian bevri zetsartavi aris gamoqinebuli rom aghtsero nais zqvis svadasva kmilebebi because they make the story even more interesting. We will hear Jack, Molly and Dad how they are going to see um, exhibition, but it's not just an ordinary exhibition. Treshen movies meant Rogur Midian Jackie Molida, Mama Missy Kamopenase, Magramis Arari Chole Privi Kamopena. This exhibition is in the aquarium and designed by scientists. Is Kamopena Aris Aquarium Shi, the Kaketabuli Aris Mitsnere Bismir. Jack grumbles at the beginning because he says, Exhibitions are very boring and he doesn't want to go there. Tavidan Jeki Tsutsunes Mesarundam Gamopenis now Juan Bobs from Gamopena Otis Mosetsrenia. But once he gets there, he becomes very, very interested. Magram Rogotsky Miva, the Nahav Salian, the interest of Bulik de Bam Gamopen. Now, some words about some sentences that have many adjectives in it to describe different creatures. Ham dini mets ina dereba mindats agi kitkhot sadats bevri zetsartavia gamoqenebuli rom am aghtseron ay sghvis kmilebebi zalian zustad. For example, we read um, there were crabs with such small bodies and such long thin legs that they looked like giant spiders. Ik iqnen kiborchxalebi patara tanit da gzeli tsrili pekhebit romelits Goliat obobevs gavden. There was an eel with a long, thin tail and enormous head and mouth. Asevi iqo gwel tevza, zaliyan trili kudit da uzar mazari tabit. And there were tiny squid that made light in their own bodies. Asevi iqo patara kalmare birom lebits shinaga shignit anatebden. Let's open our books at page 94 and let's look at these pictures. They are very interesting. Motit gadev shalut chueni zigne bi otkhmos da metokh mete gwerze. Da vnakhot ayes khwa da shwa sghuis kni lebebi. See here? They are very interesting. They are lilies. See, they look like flowers, but they are creatures. Zalian gavs khwavilebs. Magram amavetros isini khwavilebi ki shroshanebs. Magram isini khwavilebi ki arari an isini tshwavilebi arari. That's the... Okay. Now, before we listen, let's go to the board and see the words we will hear and read in the text. Ekha sana mobismet modit sitqebs gadav khedot. The word actually means nam tvilat. Already means something that has happened. Ukwe already. Aquarium is a glass container used for uh, used to keep fish. Aquarium means it from a shushish jurjali rashid stevzebs minachaven. Discovery to find out something. Eel. Ukwe otevza. Exclaim. It's amudzakheba. Explain. Achsna ganmerdeba to give more additional information. Fence, hobe, flap, cheva, just flapping its tentacles up and down, 
ერთ-ერთი სხვის ქმნილებაზე არის ტექსტში რომ არხევდა თავის საცეცებს ზევით და ქვევით. Furry, ბეწვიანი, gloom, სიბნელე, grunt. Jack was grunting. He didn't want to go to the exhibition because he thought it would be boring like the other exhibitions. Jack buzgunebda mas ekona rom es gamopenats esetive mosatsqeni ikneboda. Hairy tmiani ertert tsqovoltan aris nakhsenebi. Hate sizulvili we hear this word in when we listen to text. Instruction instruktsia. Keep off es aris nimartva ukan akhlos ar mikhvidet. Lantern is another word. Lantern means panari. It this the squid looked like a Chinese lantern. There is kabdao ertertik almari kabda chinur panars. Light belt, sashweli sartreli. The lily, that's a flower. Shoshani, miss at the naragatsis. Mutter and grunt mean the same. Mutter also means to say something in very low voice, but to complain. Magram mutter is but buti. I remember the chuma tla para. I remember the ragat se seru buzgune bda tsutsune pro ragat ukma kopile basrom kamo khata ba eset tros kamo ikene ba eset wa operate mukme deba sign nishani ro gorsa se biti sahili sponge rubeli swiss. Squid, Kalmari, Stadium, Stadioni, Tentacle, Satsetsi, and Wave, Talha. It looked like silver wave. It looked like silver wave. It looked like silver wave. It looked like silver Now let's listen and then do other exercises. Deep Sea Discovery. It's going to be boring, complained Jack. I hate museums. It's not a museum, it's an aquarium, Dad explained. Same thing, muttered Jack. It'll be boring anyway. There's a new exhibition, said Molly. It's called Deep Sea Discovery. It was designed by scientists. You can operate a camera that is deep in the sea. I'd like to go there first. Good idea, said Dad. Huh, grunted Jack. It was dim in the deep sea discovery room. There were some video screens with desks in front and some controls. Molly went to the nearest desk and read the instructions. Then she began to work the controls. The black screen turned dark blue. There aren't any animals, said Jack. Come on, this is boring. Oh! At that moment, an astonishing creature swam across the screen. It was red, but the colour glowed warmly. It looked like a Chinese lantern. Suddenly, flashes of colour ran up its tentacles. It was as bright as an electric sign in the street. That's so beautiful, whispered Molly. Wow, exclaimed Jack, pointing at the screen. Look at that! A strange silver animal began to cross the screen. It was long and flat. It had lots of tiny tentacles along both sides of its narrow body. It flapped gently up and down as it moved through the water. It looked like a long silver wave. This control turns the camera, said Molly, and she turned it away from the silver creature that was already disappearing into the gloom. Can I have a go? asked Jack. Of course, replied Molly, and she got up to let Jack sit down. For the next hour, they watched one strange creature after another. There were crabs with such small bodies and such long, thin legs that they looked like giant spiders. There was an eel with a long, thin tail and an enormous head and mouth. Its mouth was so big that it could eat fish as big as itself. 
there were tiny squid that made light in their own bodies. They shone like little flashing stars. There was a small furry sponge. There were big squid and jellyfish that you could nearly see right through. Some of them had long hairy tentacles. They floated around picking up bits of food. One jellyfish looked like a plastic bag with eyes. Another one looked like a big round cushion. There was an incredible creature that looked like a flower. It was called a sea lily, but it was an animal. The parts of it that looked like leaves and a flower were actually tiny tentacles. They picked up food and passed it to the animal's mouth in the middle of the flower. After two hours, Dad said, Do you want to go soon? Jack looked round in surprise. You're not bored already, are you, Dad? He asked. Now let's open our books at page 96. In activity one, we have, we should guess who said it and tick the correct box. We have Molly, Dad and Jack, who we know that there were three of them. Molly, Jack, Mama, Missy, Dad. It wasn't a, it's not a museum, it's an aquarium. Who said, who could say this word? It's Dad saying to Jack that it's not just an ordinary exhibition, remember? It was designed by scientists. It's Molly explaining Jack what kind of exhibition it is. Good idea, that's Dad's word. There are not any animals. It's Jack complaining again, grunting again, that he couldn't see the animals right away. Look at that, it's again Jack's words. He's excited as soon as he saw. This control turns the camera. This is Molly's words. Can I have a go? If it means, can I start? Um, these words belong to Jack. Do you want to go now? This is Dad's, these are Dad's words. Uh, Dad notices that Jack is very excited and interested, and he asks again, now do you want to go? Because he knows that from the beginning he was complaining. Um, you haven't bored already, are you? So he's so much carried and so much excited and interested. He thinks that it's father who got bored. Now, activity three, we see all kind of different creatures here, like kusha, eel, squid, jellyfish, mm, tentacle. So we have the word cushion, sea lily star, and eel. Let me remind you the words. Cushion, cushion, another word for pillow. Cushion, squid, tentacle, lantern, panari, sea lily, Shroshani, um, Zvis, Shroshani, Jellyfish, Medusa, Star, Varskuavi, and Eel, Kveltevsa. These are all the words that we have on the board, so if you don't remember, you can really find them in your dictionaries. Now let's go to the next activity lexicon. Now let's go to the workbook. Let's open our books at page 82. In exercise one says, read the sentences and underline the important words, nouns, adjectives, and verbs. Let me remind you, you know nouns. Noun is the name of the 
word خو ساخیلی عرض بیت ساخیلی این تیترو مساری ساخیلی adjectives you know they tell us uh, what kind of noun it is what kind tell us more give us more information about noun ze certa bit it rom kwazlevs damatebit informatsias arsebiti saxeli shesaxeb and verb we know that shows action which it's mna kwachenebs mokmedebes kho a new exhibition opened at the aquarium aquarium exhibition these are nouns opened is verb a new is adjective what kind of exhibition a new exhibition then you have down the sentences you should find and underline nouns, adjectives and verbs. Kwebit kapsu enda debebi da unda gakhazot arsebiti saxeli zetsartavites na. Then read the notes and write sentences. Shemde gatsavlian rogor unda chanats rogor unda gamoiqenot chanatserebi da rogor unda datserot zinadadeba chanatserebis dakhmarebit. So you have some words and these words, of course, won't make sense unless you put them in right order. Kaktragat sitqobi magramais am sitqobs tu ar daatqobt tan mimdevrulat logikurat dar daamatebt gidevragat sitqobs ma tarekneba't mishnoloba. Am sitqobis chatseras is azriak rom gagakhsenot ra unda datserot, kho? Ay magalitat, in the first sentence we read children taken to aquarium by father. Motsemuli gwak sitqobi bavshobi ძაყვანილი იყო ძაყვანილ წაიყვანეს მამამ და აკვარიუმი გასაგებია ხო რას დაწერთ რომ მამამ წაიყვანა ბავშვები აკვარიუმში ხო აკვარიუმის სანახავად the children were taken to the aquarium by their father the rest of the sentences you should do according to the first one დანარჩენებიც უნდა გააკეთოთ პირველის მიხედვით და let's go to the next page page 83 and again, like always, they tell you to read the text again to make sure you remember everything. The Isevro gots all to his cars and a bimdo kid the vertical under Gata Egit hot text. Dirum de Talebigai Senot. Complete the sentences with the correct words in brackets. Down the Mudzebnot, story pasuhi, Amurchut, story pasuhi, Motsemuli, Ori Savaraudo pasuhi, then Romans Chilep Shigat Motsemuli. Next exercise are write the verbs next to the correct definitions and the last ones are ma match the sentences to the pictures. Again, you have jellyfish, furry sponge, plastic bag, jellyfish, um, the creature that flaps up and down gently and the jellyfish that had long hairy tentacles. Okay. So, to sum up, we have learned today about deep sea animals. We have learned about squids, about jellyfish, about sponge, about eels, and very beautiful and nice different sea creatures. I think it was interesting. I think it was interesting. I think it was interesting.